Welcome. I'm going to show you how to edit the double-sided business card mock-up in Photoshop. First, you want to have this Layers panel open here. So if you don't see the Layers panel, just click on Window and then click on Layers to bring it up. And you just want to click the little arrow next to the Business Card Layer Group and that will expand that. And then click the arrow next to the Business Card Top or Bottom Layer Group to expand that. And then to add your design, you just want to double click the thumbnail icon in the Design Dash Business Card layer. And that's going to bring up a smart object where you can copy and paste your design. And then you just go to File, Open, and find your design off the computer. And then once it opens, go to Select All, then Edit, Copy. Click back on the Smart Object tab and go to Edit paste. And depending on the size, you might need to resize it. So if you need to size it at all, go to Edit, Free Transform. I'm just going to press Control minus to zoom out a little bit. It would be Command minus on a Mac. And you can just click and drag any of the four corners to resize the image. In older versions of Photoshop, you used to have to hold down the Shift key to keep it from getting distorted as you clicked and dragged. So if you see it getting distorted, just go to Edit, Undo, and then do the opposite of whatever you're doing, whether that's holding down the Shift key or not holding it down. And once you've got it sized the way you want it, just go to File, Save to save the smart object. And then you can click the X to close the smart object and then close your original graphics. And you'll see it put the design on the card just like that for us. And then you want to repeat the same steps for the back side. So I'm just going to click the little arrow to collapse that layer group and then I'll click the arrow next to the business card bottom to expand that layer. And then now we'll double click the thumbnail icon in the design dash business card layer for the bottom card and find the design off the computer. And I'm just going to repeat the steps um, by going to select all and then edit copy and clicking back on the smart object tab. I'm going to edit paste. And then if you needed to you could use edit free transform again. And I'm good so I'm just going to click save. And then I'll close the Smart Object tab by clicking the little X and close the little um, original graphics. And now both the front and back side are done. You can also change the color of the business card. So I'm just going to click the little eye icon next to the Design Dish Business Card layer to hide it temporarily. And then I'll double click the thumbnail icon in the Color Dish Business Card layer. And that'll open up our color picker. You can just click anywhere in the rainbow slider to change the color, and then click in the gradiated box to change the lightness and darkness of the color. If you wanted to use this color on the front side too, you could just click in the box next to the pound sign, and then drag to select it, and then press Control C on a PC or Command C on a Mac to copy that. And then we'll click the arrow next to the top layer and double click the thumbnail icon in the color dash business card for the top business card. And then we'll just click in the box next to the pound sign again and drag to select. And I'm going to press control V on a PC to paste it. It would be command V on a Mac. And I'll hide the design by clicking the little eye icon. You'll see now we've got a matching color for the front and back if you wanted to do that. You can also adjust the shadows underneath the business card. To do that I'm going to click the arrow next to the shadows layer group and just click on one of the shadows and then click the down arrow next to fill. You can drag the slider to the right to make the shadow darker or drag it to the left to make it more subtle. And depending on which mock-up you purchased, you may have different backgrounds. So you can just click the arrow next to the backgrounds layer group. That'll expand that and just click on the little eye icons to 
hide and show the different backgrounds. And that's all there is to adding your design to the double-sided business card mock-up in Photoshop. Please message me at melissabmockups.com if you have any questions. And don't forget to like, subscribe so you get updates to future videos. And as always, this mock-up and other mock-ups are available at melissabmockups.com. Thank you.